What's going on guys, it's Cade from Beyond the Box back with another video. Today I got a product that I've wanted to take a look at for a very long time. It's been very highly coveted and it was sold out for a long time of its lifetime so far. It's the Scuf PS5 Reflex Controller. Now I've had like three to four scuffs in my lifetime going back to Xbox and PlayStation and they used to have pretty good build quality in the past. And uh, when I got this, I was a little worried about the build quality because I have had multiple scuff controllers break down on me, whether it be Xbox or PlayStation, but now I'm moving to PC and I decided to use the PS5. Before we move on, let's just take a look at the back really quick. So four panels on the back that's gonna give you the ability to remap to any button that you need. You have a few options for profiles. So if you wanted to make a Fortnite profile, a Warzone profile, and any other game, uh, you could, you can store multiple profiles on the same controller. Wireless and wired connectivity, that is nice, we always love that. Interchangeable thumbsticks, we're gonna get to that in a little bit. Performance grip on the back, which is optional, I added. It was an extra add-on. Instant triggers that activate like clicking a mouse, those are amazing. And that's it, the six features that they wanted to tell you about. So with all that said, like I was saying earlier, I'm worried about the build quality on this controller because I've already been using it. Here it is, inside of the box, you're only gonna get a USB cable, which I'm not sure exactly where that went. I might've put it in here, but there's nothing else in the box after that besides a little owner's manual and you don't really need that but it does come with this little box oh there there it is and i actually have a few thumbsticks inside already i believe it comes with two thumbsticks other than the stock thumbstick that it is right now i'm actually using an increased height thumbstick that's not in the stock standard experience i'll explain that in a little bit and it does come with a super high quality braided USB-C coil. I'm assuming it's probably a 10 foot cable. I'm already using another braided USB cable that I was using for another pro controller. So it doesn't really matter which cord I use in my opinion. So here's the controller that I picked up from Scuff guys. I've been playing with it for a few weeks now and I probably have about 20 hours of playtime under my belt. So I do have a good understanding about the controller and using the controller besides the basics. Let's go over it really quick and then we'll tell you about what I think. So you got the mouse trigger buttons on the aim down sights buttons and the bumper buttons, super fast activation, which is really nice. You got the four panels on the back, so that way you can remap them to whatever you want. Again, the controller comes with the ability to have three different controllers. You can remap each game for different buttons. Uh, I paid for the extra scuff grip on the back. You can see that a little bit there. It's like a hexagons. Very nice grip in my hands. Actually feels like an actual grip. Old controllers didn't feel like that. Now, since I have been playing with this controller for about the past month now, uh, I have a very good opinion on how the controller is and I have had multiple problems with it. Not only did I pay $400 for my customizations, but I paid for expedited shipping and I paid for this extra add-on set, which they make you think that you need in, in the checkout area to get the exact options that you want, which is kind of a scam in general because the case itself, is a nice case. It's like every other scuff case you've ever owned. If, if you've ever had a scuff case, you could probably use the same controller case, to be honest with you. Comes with some gamer grip that I have not chose to open up. I don't really think I'm going to need that. Maybe a little bit of you sweaty kids will find more benefit in that than I do. But it does come with this little thumbstick set for the PS5 controller. So uh, it, was, it was needed because the one stick that I actually wanted was the concave increased height thumbstick. And the only way you're gonna get that is when you buy this set. So they're gonna make you spend an extra $30 to get a second cable when they already sold you one and some gamer grip that most likely most of you will never need even if you are a sweaty tryhard. And they just completely take your money because they don't tell you that, oh, by the way, the one thumbstick that you're probably looking for isn't going to be available unless you buy that kit. And we're gonna give you a second USB cable for no reason. So with that said, I don't want you people that love Scuff to think I'm bashing on Scuff. I've, I've loved Scuff since I 
got my first Xbox One scuff in 2013. It was an optic controller. It was my pride and joy at the time. It cost me $300. I remember it like it was yesterday. My relationship with scuff has been going on now for nine years. Only the past year have I stopped using a scuff because I decided to switch to an Xbox controller because I stopped playing Call of Duty on the PlayStation. Now I play on the PC so I can use any controller I want. But I wanted the best controller in the world to be my Call of Duty controller. And the problem is, is within 20 hours of gameplay, my left aim down sights button gets completely stuck into the aiming down sights position. But I'm just in the practice custom games. I'm just shooting at bots, warming up before I jump on Warzone. And I try to aim down sights after a bunny hop and my sights don't come undone. I can take my entire finger off the left ADS button and it still will be aiming down sights, which I've literally had to press the thumbstick out and up, trying to get it from an unstuck position. This has been less than 20 hours. Another issue I'm having, never had this issue with any other controller. So I'm trying to run, I have my automatic tactical sprint on in Warzone. So the moment I do this, I should be running forward. And I'm not just running, I'm sh I should be sprinting forward. And the moment that I push forward, um, all that happens is the walking animation and I don't even run, let alone sprint. I couldn't run forward. There you go, prime example of why the PS5 scuff is dog shit. So the only solution I found is literally that I have to press and unpress the start button to get it to reset. I can't understand what could be possibly going on, but the only way that the thumbstick gets fixed is after I press the start button, let go of the thumbstick, and unclick the start button and I go back to my game. By that point in time, I'm already stuck in the same position where I didn't wanna be. I'm barely moving at all. I'm probably getting shot in the process. I'm probably dying. It's happened more than one time. Now let's talk about their customer service. I have emailed them at least twice that I can guarantee of that I've said I needed to talk to their customer service when it came to, hey, my controller is not working properly the way it should be. And customer service is not responding to my emails. I should not be dealing with this. This is a $400 product. Scuff, why are you continuously selling me products that break within a month of use? I used to vouch for you guys. They convince you that you need all this stuff and then they sell you a product that's not working after two weeks. Scuff, you should be reaching out to me to make this right. I hope your marketing team sees this video because I've tried to contact you from my business email, from my customer account email, and I've been doing that over the past month and nobody has replied to me. Maybe this is just a bad unit. Maybe this is just a bad controller. Um, maybe if you sent me another one, it would be a lot better and it would be perfect but I'm starting to get this reputation with you, Scuff, that within a month's worth of use, your controller is no longer usable at a high level. And it's making me never want to buy a Scuff again. I'm just going to be honest with you. I will give you a second chance if you guys will respond to my emails and reach out to me. I'll have the email in the description below so you can directly contact me if you have a problem. That's the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed my honest review. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. We're also giving away an Oculus Quest 2 at 20,000 subscribers. And we're also giving a PS5 away at 30,000 subscribers. And if you guys want a second chance to win with double the points, all you gotta do is go follow me on my Twitch. It's gonna be in the description below, twitch.tv slash beyondtheboxyt. I'm gonna be playing Call of Duty almost every single night. We're gonna be grinding MW2 for the next two years. Um, Warzone 2 is gonna be insane. Please come join my community on Twitch. Keep me company while I game. It's literally been a lifelong dream for me to play with an audience and have fun with viewers. So I hope you guys liked an honest video review from the heart and stick around for next week's video when we unbox and review the Cronus Zen. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.